Hello and welcome to my video. Today we'll be looking at the Luxfox Lyra Model B and how to get started flashing Ubuntu. First we'll take a look at the device. It has a two lane 22 pin MIPI display interface, a 1.25 millimeter JST connector, and it uses USB-C for power and data transfer. Luxfox just released this device just a few weeks back and so far the design does look very nice and super clean and the SD card slot is actually slightly raised just above the processor makes it a little bit easier to get that SD card in and out and it is rocking an RK3506 G2 rock chip three Cortex A7 microprocessors and one Cortex M0 here is the Pico Max for a size comparison same form factor Pico Max is just a little bit longer due to that Ethernet port at the back there. Both have 24 GPIO pins. So, let's go ahead and get started flashing Ubuntu onto your SD card. First thing you're going to want to do is get that image downloaded, follow the link in my description, and then select the model that you have, the Max or just the Model B. Next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and format your SD card using SD Formatter. Select and make sure you have the correct drive. Go ahead and quick format it and we'll move on to the next step. Next thing you're going to want to do is download the SD Tools file I have in my description. You will need to change the config files because the language will be selected to Chinese. So go ahead and change that selected equals 1 to selected equals 2 and that will go ahead and change it to English. So open that up and you will select your USB device. Make sure it's the correct one. Hit SD boot, select your firmware, and then go into your Ubuntu file and select update, open, and then go ahead and create that SD. Sometimes it might fail, just try again and it usually works. Yep. So it does take a few minutes, so we'll come back after this is done. So now we'll go ahead and insert that SD card. And then go ahead and insert that USB-C, also connected to your computer and that red LED should start flashing if everything's booted up correctly. It will take 20 to 30 seconds for your computer to register the device. So just wait for that ding. So now we can go ahead and pull up our network connections and go to Ethernet 6 should be an unidentified network properties and then find Internet Protocol version 4, double click that, and normally it'll be obtain an IP address automatically. You want to swap that to use this following IP address, which is 192.168.123, and then the last three digits can be any number besides 100. So go ahead and OK that. You will need to do the subnet mask, which will fill in automatically. So. OK, OK, and now we'll bring up command prompt, and we will start the SSH process. So it'll be SSH Lira at 192.168.123.100. It'll ask you for the password, and the password is luckfox, all lowercase and it should directly boot into Ubuntu. So we'll try Python 3, should be automatically installed, and it is. Perfect. Lastly, we just have a couple of size comparisons. We have the Lyra, and then the Milk V Duo 256. Same form factor and size, same amount of GPIO pins, which is 24 on each. And we also have the Luxfox Pico Pro Max, 
which again, same form factor. It is a little bit longer due to that ethernet port on the back. The Lyra can also come in the pro form, which does include that ethernet port on the back being the only difference. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. And until next time, thank you.